Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. Jesus knew who he was and he wants you to know who you are too. You know, this scripture is from John chapter 13 and this is when Jesus is going to wash the disciples' feet. You know, that seems like something that, you know, a servant would do. Someone who, um, you know, really wasn't anybody, wasn't, you know, um, didn't have any clout or anything. And yet Jesus was so confident in who he was that he did this. He did this and showed us, you know, how to live. But the, the thing that I want to focus on is Jesus knew who he was. He was confident in who he was and in what he came to do. And I talked to so many women who lack confidence and, you know, oftentimes it's based on, um, uh, you know, just insecurities and inadequacies and so much about how we feel that we look, um, you know, our body size and we want to lose weight. And if only we could lose weight, then we would gain the attention, you know, of people, whether to have friends or a boyfriend or, you know, eventually a husband. But the thing is, we don't need those things. Those are not the things that give us confidence. What we need to know is whose we are. Jesus knew that he came from the Father and the Father had a plan for him. And the same goes for us, for you and for me. We came from the Father. He has a plan for each one of us. He loves you so much. Let's not blame our lack of confidence on our body size, nor um, base our confidence on our body size. You know, if we've lost weight, we feel good, we look good, we're confident. No, our confidence must be placed in Christ, in who we are, in the fact that we are a child of God and that he created us and that he has a plan for us. And that plan is not based on what we look like. It's not based on a number on a scale. That's not where our worth comes. That's not where our confidence comes from. It comes from who he made us to be. It comes from knowing that we are a child of God, that you are a child of God. So I want you to know that Jesus had a purpose. He knew what that purpose was and he has a purpose for you. And he wants you to know that purpose and live that purpose. 